hello welcome back to our channel geetika tips and timely varieties today our class is about mahadasha and their duration welcome back sir thank you now now today i'll tell you how many dashas are there and who are ruling these dashas and actually mahadasha antar dasha pratyantar dasha sukshma dasha these are the steps of dasha okay so at the time of birth based on the horoscope based on the placement of the sun as a moon we will decide the rasi and also balance of that particular dasha so from that particular period you know how on how, how long will that particular dasha ends what will be the next dasha this is the sequence of dashas i am going to explain the sequence of dashas will be starting from ketu venus sun moon mars rahu jupiter saturn and mercury now for each dasha there is a fixed time out of 120 years total is 120 years out of which these dashas are divided according to the astrology so now if you sum up this one this will comes to 120 okay so now ketu dasha will be ruled by ketu for 7 years then venus is for 20 years then sun 6 years moon 10 years mars 7 years rahu rahu mahardasha will say that is for 18 years then jupiter guru mahardasha will say that is 16 years then we have saturn shani mahardasha will be 19 years and then will have next dasha will be buddha dasha mercury dasha that is for 17 years so for example if a person is born in chandra dasha that is moon mahadasha so for some particular period after that it ends then his dasha will be next mars then next rahu next jupiter next saturn next mercury then it comes to ketu and venus this is a cycle of dashas we are going to experience by any individual from the day of birth so this sum of all this uh, dasha duration will comes to 120 years then we have mahadasha for example a person is having rahu dasha then we have rahu bhukti you can say then pratyantara dasha sukshma dasha will have ma dasha like this we, it is again a, a big subject that i cannot discuss in this uh, small video okay so just remember this uh, duration of each dasha then you will come to know roughly what is the dasha we are going to have for this particular year for how long then what happens to the next like this you can you yourself can assess what dasha you are going to have in this particular yeah so this is a brief idea about all mahadashas in a astrology okay thank you thank you sir thank you for explaining about mahadasha today hope everyone understood the class if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section and even you can post your doubts in the instagram which i have uh, given in the description also If you like the video please like share and subscribe our channel first time who is are watching our channel or the video please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will not miss any video we have posted thank you